this country is hitting a crisis point, whether we're going to progress on women's issues or whether we're going to regress. I set off across the country. I'm taking a snapshot of where we are as Americans on the issue of equal rights. We're put in a position at odds with our usual position, which is moving ahead so we could get equal rights. Instead, we're having to fight to retain rights we won 30 years ago. The biggest force against us at the moment is the propaganda saying it's over. The war on women is shameless, baseless propaganda. There's no fact to it, but it's worked because it's scared women to death. Enough, enough. Is there a war on women? And if there is, what does it look like? I decided to take a look, one issue at a time. This really is a war against women. You have the attacks on women's reproductive health care, and then you have this, this onslaught of slashing all these programs. Most women in this country believe in general they're protected under the Constitution, and that is, that is not the reality. A constitutional amendment is a guarantee. If you have a bad election, they can't take away your rights. It's the guarantee from one generation to the next. Women don't have that. If women would unite and use their votes to encourage people to support it, it would pass overnight. We're 53% of the population. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all and equal rights for women in the United States of America. The Equal Rights Amendment, it's a matter of principle. It's what this nation stands for. Men want two things. They want sex. They want their own babies. That's such a, a sexist statement about a male human being. They're still yapping about women not getting the same pay as men. Women like to marry a man who earns more than they do. That's all we got, one word, one word. There's something's wrong with it. Yeah.